Today, saving money, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about how I came about getting this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Matter of fact, I like this. This would be a nice little picture. I like that. So let's talk about it. I had to take some pictures real quick with the money. How I saved this money. So, matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it right back here. It's better off in there. Oh, it's gonna fall. So, what I did was one for one month, I wanted to see how it would be to not do a lot and what I mean by that is how to save the money that I was gonna spend uh, going out and then just cancel my plans so I did this for a month just to see and that's where this came from this is uh, literally a thousand dollars that I saved from a month of not going out not going on dates which was probably the biggest uh, part of it <laughs> triple did and just uh, saving money on eating out and just getting what I wanted, like getting food, making it at home and everything. I did that for one month, one entire month. And actually, I probably could have saved more than this, but this is all that I ended up saving this month, which is very good from spending and going out all that time throughout the month to saving this. So, I... Uh, I'm gonna take this money. I just took it out literally just for the uh, for the video, but I'm gonna put it back into my account because money just sitting there is not good. Like I'm a uh, I'm a day trader now, which is crazy, uh, and it's pretty fun. I've been making a pretty nice amount uh, amount of money, and I can only imagine if I put this thousand in one of the stocks that just like shot up like crazy. I would be like sweating right now because I'll be in the Maldives <laughs> literally, uh, but. That's how you save the money. You save the money by, like, even if you can't do an entire month, try doing, like, uh, every, like, once a week. Like, what you would spend going out maybe, like, on a Friday or something like that. Try doing that. And then, like, don't go out on Friday. Any other money that you were going to spend, just go ahead and put it away. And just keep putting it away. Keep putting it away. And even if you don't have, like, the actual money you have it on your card, just calculate it up. And then what I did was I, I like because I didn't I wasn't just taking out cash. And once it, once it got to hundred dollars, I started taking out the hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars. So what I did was, anytime I would want to go out, I had a little notepad and I would write like, what's my notepad? It's somewhere up here. I had like a little, well, I guess I could use this. Had a little notepad like this, and then I would just write down what I was spending going out that night. So do that like once a week, and then you'll see like from going out four nights on a Friday. Um, you will see how much money that you'll save if you just didn't go out and then you probably like, holy crap like I saved a hundred dollars by not going out these four days I can use another hundred dollars a month so you pick another like set of four days and not go out those four days to save another hundred another hundred a hundred start off small uh, I mean it, it was pretty easy for me to do this because uh, every time I thought about going out or every time you know like I ran into some random girl and she wants to go out and it was kind of hard saying no to women but uh, <laughs> everything else like going out to clubs, bars, like all that going out drinking, all that stuff was super easy because I need to be more productive. So that's just how, like, how you save money and this is the goal that we're pushing towards right now. That's one million dollars. One million dollars. So yeah. We're trying to push towards that, and this is a fake $100 bill. <laughs> so we're trying to push towards that, and that's how you can just save money. Don't go out on dates, eat at home, don't get like alcohol out at the club or the bars and stuff like that. Just get you a bottle of um, Buffalo Trace whiskey, sit it right there, drink a little bit at home, and have a cigar. That's all you gotta do. So I'm gonna do this again for another month, 
and I'm gonna let y'all know how it go. I'll probably end up saving more than that actually next time. So I'll keep y'all posted. Don't worry.